Minister Josh Frydenberg joins us. Josh, good morning to you. Nice to be with you, Carl. This sounds like just a PR stunt. You can't actually bring prices down, can you? Oh, certainly we can. How? Uh, and, well, firstly, uh, we know that uh, Australian families can save $1,000 a year or more simply by moving retailers, but 50% of families have not moved in the last five years. So what we'll be demanding from the companies today is better information, more comparable information and a better deal, particularly for lower income households who find themselves stuck on higher priced offers. But you can't actually do anything, can you? No, we can. And we're already doing a lot of things on a number of fronts. For example, we're reserving more gas for domestic use. We've reined in the power of the poles and wires companies. And today, with the retailers, we'll be talking tough to them because we need to see them do more to lower people's power But, but they don't actually have to do anything. They don't have to listen to you, do they? No, we've got obviously uh, the sort of Damocles there with the, uh, the, uh, the choice of regulation if need be. Mm. But today, in the first instance, we want to hear from the companies as to what they are doing and what more they will do to put consumers first. When will prices be cheaper as a result of your intervention? Well, we're already starting to see the gas uh, spot price come down by about $2 in the last few months. We've seen in Queensland the forward curve for prices drop by more than 20%. So we are starting to see some positive signs. But the problems in our energy market have been building for more than a decade. Yep. There are no silver bullets. There are lots of reasons behind it. And that's why we're taking action on all fronts. OK, keep working on that. Uh, if the government is willing to show strength on the issue of energy pricing, why won't it show any leadership on marriage equality? Well, we've now got a timeline. Obviously, we've got our legislation again on a plebiscite before the Senate. If Bill Shorten wants to block that again, then he's denying people the opportunity to have a say. But then we've got the postal plebiscite as our backup. That's received the strong support in the party room. And obviously, that's a mm. timeline that will run till November. Oh, timeline. So, I mean, your opinion, is this effective government? Um, you place legislation for a plebiscite before Parliament for a second time, knowing it's going to fail. Then you put the issue to a voluntary postal vote costing more than $122 million, the result of which is non-binding and non-compulsory and will end up back to Parliament to legislate. What is your party doing? And so well, why don't you just lead instead of faffing about? Well, look, we went to the last election, Carl, as you know. We told the Australian people we would give them a say on this issue. Bill Shorten told the Australian Christian lobby that he supported a plebiscite. Then he stood in the way only because mm. of politics, not policy. And now we want to give people a say. Look, there are passionate views on both sides. But you want it legalised, don't you? What's that? You want it legalised, don't you? Look, I, I've always been uh, on the public record uh, supporting uh, this change, but people deserve their say. So when will it happen? Well, people will get their ballot papers by the 12th of September. But when when and will thereafter. marriage be legalised? Well, under let's, your government? Just, let's just wait and see what the what the people say. What don't you want to hear from what the people have I to th say? I think the people have elected you to make a decision, and you're not. Well, the people elected us at the last election with a promise. And that promise was to give them a say, and we don't break our promises. Well, you don't think they've shifted their opinion? Well, look, let's just wait and see you know what they the have. poster was. Well, I, I think that you're right. Community views are changing. So now make a decision. Well, let's see what's reflected in this postal ballot, or indeed if Come the Labor on, Party Josh. has you, a lot. You, you know you <laughs> want to get on with it. You want to get on with it. Let's just have a vote in Parliament and stop this faffing about. Well, I can tell you... You're absolutely right. We just want to get on with it. That's right. Because the Australian people are much more concerned about housing affordability, energy prices, Agree. their infrastructure. They don't see this as the number one issue on their agenda. Good on you, Josh. Good to talk to you and good luck.